Hi, it's Kelly with CitrusCycles.ca. I'm here in Germany checking out RM's new multi tinker. In this video, I'm going to do a quick overview of RM's compact cargo e bike. You can find the complete details, including specs and pricing in Canada, on our website at citruscycles.ca. I hope to do an in-depth video a little bit later. In the meantime, you can visit our website to contact us if you want to set up an appointment to come try it yourself at our store in uh, Chimanus on Vancouver Island, or if you want us to ship it anywhere pretty much fully assembled in Canada. If you are in Canada, you can reach out to us with any questions you have on our website. If you're not in Canada, you'll need to contact your local R&M dealer as we're not able to assist you. The Multi Tinker is a bit of an unusual name for a fantastic bike. The Tinker is R&M's compact bike with 20 inch wheels. It has been such a popular bike as it rides and handles exceptionally well, unlike so many other bikes with 20 inch wheels. And so the Multi Tinker builds on that success of the original Tinker by turning it into an incredibly capable cargo bike. It can haul two kids with up to 65 kilos on the rear rack, either in child seats or with the safety bar that you see here, or they have the passenger kit, which I'll show you in a little bit. You could also haul a lot of gear using their massive 42 liter waterproof bags, or you can use your own bags, or you can put crates on top and on the side. The side loaders are built into the bike. Although R&M is a bit late to the game, as there are lots of cargo bikes with the 20-inch wheels, I think that rideability, reliability, and serviceability of the multi tinker will make it very popular. So why do I say that? Well, let me put it politely. From experience, I can tell you that a lot of bikes in this category are very practical, and I wouldn't ride them unless I specifically needed to transport a couple of kids. In other words, they don't handle really, really well. They're not super enjoyable to ride. But the Multi Tinker is a bike I'd ride even if I didn't have need to haul cargo. Part of that is RM's intentional design with the frame. Not only does it look really cool, but it's very practical with this really low step through area here. And you can see how wide the frame is, how well built it is. So there's really no uh, flex in the frame, which means it handles really, really well. When you get a bike that has too much frame flex, it can be difficult in corners and when you have a load and that sort of thing. So despite its really nice looks, very clean lines, very easy step through area, it still handles really, really well. Another clever thing they've done here is they've got the Bosch Power Tube 625 integrated into the down tube. That shifts a little bit of the weight. Not only are we in the middle, but it also means you've got some good weight on the front suspension fork up there, so you get lots of traction. We are using a through axle on the front here, which is great. Uh, quad piston Magira brakes with lots of stopping power. One of the cool things about the Multi Tinker, it is only 1.92 meters long, which is basically the same as a regular bike, so it will fit on a car rack. In fact, the surprising thing is, despite its small size, this loading area is actually even bigger than what they have on the Multi Charger. We've got a great kickstand built in here, nice and wide, really easy to deploy and release. And just like on the original Tinker, we do have the adjustable angle three position stem and height is adjustable as well which is awesome. A lot of times we see bikes that have adjustable angle stems. Basically, you can only adjust the angle and in doing so, it kind of adjusts the height. These, they uh, adjust independently. So it's really easy for multiple riders to be able to ride this bike, which is perfect for a cargo bike. There's also a lot of really practical features. You can see they've got two rails here. The top rail, of course, is for the child accessories and the bottom rail is where you put your bags. So you can still fit bags and kids at the same time. And of course, you've got that massive front rack that you can also bring your gear along so the kids aren't kicking it. The side loaders here, as I mentioned, are built in. This is great for your passengers to rest their feet. You've also got the uh, protective uh, wheel skirt there so no one's getting caught in the spokes. There's even points here where you can put straps through so if you want to use this for storage you can actually put tall things on there and strap them on. If you have really big pannier bags you can also rest them on here so you can really load up a lot of gear on this bike. And of course you also have two different drivetrain options here. You can see we've got the Gates carbon belt and the uh, Enviola continuously variable transmission. With that we've got this completely enclosed chain guard here which is fantastic. If you go with the touring version you get a chain cassette and derailleur and again that chain guard is very practical for riding the bike. You don't have to worry about getting your pants uh, dirty. Of course with a Gates carbon belt you don't have to worry about that at all. 
here's an example of those very large waterproof bags, which is awesome. And back on the blue one here, there's a little mounting point for a trailer, and it's interesting, they put it up high enough instead of lower, because this is a 20 inch wheel, they put this up so it'd be around the same height as a 26 inch uh, wheel, uh, so you can easily attach any trailer, which is again, just all the little details. Speaking of little details, here's the really cool frame bag, it's integrated here, it comes with a bike, you can even lock it in place if you wish, you just uh, uh, release the uh, zippers here, you can open that up. And you can see inside there that you have lots of storage, a little divider, some Velcro straps. It's really cool. And it's, so again, it, it becomes a really practical car replacement. Multiple riders can ride it lots of gear. You can store stuff inside and lock it. So you, it just makes it very, very practical. So when I talk about reliability, of course, the bike is made in Germany. We're using the made in Germany Bosch Smart System. Uh, very reliable. One of the great things about the Bosch Smart System is the, their Flow app, so you don't have to use the display, but you can if you wish. With the uh, app, you can uh, do navigation, do all the information you'd need on your trip on the app, which is really cool. And uh, one of the new things with the Smart System is the automatic mode. So basically, you don't have to adjust the level of assistance anymore. You just ride and the bike figures it out for you. So one of the things we love about the uh, Tinker is it is using standard high quality uh, bike parts. So it's uh, very uh, easy to service, easy to get parts. It's easy to access the parts on the bike that need to be replaced, such as the brake pads and that sort of thing. And that's really important um, because uh, there's a lot of other bikes in this category that we can tell you from a service perspective are a real nightmare to try to service. You can see you've got a few different options for the rack. This is the smaller rack. And you also have the option, the GX option, which gives you these knobby tires from the Smart Sam Plus. Highly puncture resistant, which is uh, really great. Here's the version with the chain cassette and derailleur. And you can see again, we've got that chain guard to protect your pants from uh, grease. We do have the integrated uh, Abus frame lock here. There's an optional chain you can use to secure it so nobody can walk off with your tinker. A lot of practical features. So as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about the uh, multi-tinker. I think it's going to be a great option for so many of our customers. Um, if I had to think of some of the downsides of it, it's hard to come up with anything because they've really nailed this. The rideability is there, serviceability, reliability, practicality is there. Um, they've got some great accessories. Maybe the only weakness is when we compare it to some of the other similar products on the market, a company like Turn, for example, has tons and tons of accessories. So R&M doesn't make a rain cover for the back. Well, personally, that's where you know you'd go with a long uh, uh, a front loader cargo bike like the Load or the Paxter, those are going to have the uh, ring cover at the front, which is much better place than trying to put it at the back. Personally, you know, I live in a rainforest, so I just say, hey, look, kids, it's raining, put your rain gear on, um, because we don't want to have this big massive sail on the back, uh, which is what happens when you end up putting, uh, you know, a big ring cover on the back. So uh, I'm being kind of silly, but just to point out that the practical accessories that you need are there, um, and maybe we'll see some more coming out later on the market. In the meantime, you can check out all the details on this bike, including an in-depth video and a ride test at citrucycles.ca.